Good evening, everybody. Today is July 28th, and I received a word from the Lord this morning, and uh, this evening I got home from work and it was dark, so we're in the kitchen. But this morning my husband got up before I did, and he came in the bedroom and he said, Melissa, I want you to just listen to me for a minute. You're going to read some pretty vile attacks on the YouTube channel, and, um, you know, there's been some pretty some pretty bad attacks, and I, I just leave them there because... You know, I trust the Lord, and uh, I trust in the work he's doing, and I know the enemy is, you know, trying to get me to get discouraged, and, um, you know, I just trust your discernment, and I just trust the Lord is sovereign over it all, And um, but I wasn't really prepared for the, the level of attack uh, that was there, and uh, so... My husband said, you know, I, I just want you to leave it because his grace is sufficient. And all of his devotionals this morning were about that. And so he just, he felt good about that. And um, so I said, well, let me take it to the Lord, you know, and see what he says. Because, you know, he's attacking my family. And, um, and that kind of stuff just makes me want to quit, you know when the fiery darts are to me that's one thing but when they're so terrible to my family that's another thing and uh but I just laid it all at the Lord's feet and he you know talked to me about it and so some of this message is about that and I just you know I'm just gonna leave it there if the enemy wants to use this platform to attack my family you know, I, I trust the Lord, and I trust the Lord that lives in you. I trust the Lord um, that he's going to coach me and how to deal with these things, and that, you know, I count it as a joy in the end. You know, not at first, but in the end, when I wrestle through it, it really pushes me to the edge, you know. Am I going to give up? Um, who do I fear? What is truth? Who do I trust? So this is today's message. Oh, and uh, you know, this person, I think I know who it is, and there's about 1% truth in there. I think it's all the same person probably, um, with multiple, you know, just made multiple accounts. And um, you know, there's, there's some truth in it, and then there's a lot of outrageous things that I don't even know know what to say so I'm just not going to say anything and uh, and if they want to just keep spewing venom then you know that's the Lord's ultimately to deal with um, everyone belongs to the Lord and he's going to handle it and he's going to do the right thing and I'm just going to pray for that person because you know I'm sad I'm sad that the enemy is using that person so violently and uh, I just I'm going to pray for their freedom so my child listen to me I am here I am not dismayed I am not alarmed I am fully aware of all the schemes of the enemy he does not want you to speak my truth he does not want you to listen to my voice Melissa listen to me I am the one who formed you in your mother's womb I knit you together in the secret place Melissa the enemy wants to destroy life he hates all that has been created by me because he hates me. He is the enemy. Calm your heart and your mind. Do not let him in. You are mine and I am yours. What can he do to you? What can he say that will cancel truth? Can he single out a sin that I haven't forgiven? Can he make my grace and forgiveness null and void? No, he has no power, Melissa. Tell them he is not going to rob anyone of anything. He cannot snatch one of you out of my hand. Nothing can separate you from my love. Daughter, write these words. You will not be able to speak my words much longer. You will not be given many more opportunities to proclaim my truth. I am coming and I come quickly. Melissa, the days ahead are but a vapor. They are not going to make my people wonder if I am coming. They will reveal that I am he. They will show them that I am all they have that is true. 
Melissa, do not fear. I am holding you, child. I am doing this work in you. You are not crazy. You are under attack. Listen to me. You are going to keep moving and growing and learning. You are not going to yield to the enemy's attempts to destroy you. You will be all that I have created you to be. Melissa, this is only the beginning. We have only just begun our journey together. My child, eternity awaits. Do not fear. Do not feel defeated. Do not be troubled. I have overcome it all. I am your defender. I judge the hearts of men. What will my light illuminate? I know who fears me and who fears man. I know who loves evil and who shuns it. I know all things, and I have already overcome this dark world. Do you understand? Yes, Lord, thank you. You alone are my righteousness, my hope, my Savior. Thank you for loving me and forgiving me and redeeming me. I am unworthy, but I put my hope in you alone. You alone are worthy. Melissa, follow me now. We are going to discuss more of what is to come. I want you to deliver these words today. I want you to tell the nations that the end of all things is here. The end of the world, as it has been known, is here. It is going to change. It is going to change rapidly. It is going to turn upside down. The enemy is going to deceive many. He is going to say that my children are false, that I do not exist, that I am just an illusion, that I am a theory of the past. He is going to try to disarm my truth. He is going to try to replace the truth with lies, progressive lies. He wants the world to bow to him. He wants to sit on the throne. He desires to conquer this dark world. My children, listen to me. You will be spared from all of this, but many still do not see what is in store. Many still slumber. Many do not know the powers that have ruled them and kept them sleeping. Melissa, I'm going to reveal the lies and the enemy will not be able to stop me. He will try, but I have already won this battle. My name is lifted high above. My name stands now and forever. Nothing can overcome what was already accomplished. My child, what is my name? Who do you say I am? You are Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, the one who was and is and is to come. You are the word. You are the savior. In and through you, everything has been made. There is nothing that exists that is not yours. You are sovereign God the one true God, maker of heaven and earth. You are holy. There is no one like you. Melissa, why then do you worry and fear when the enemy tries to wound you? Where is your shield of faith? Where is your helmet of salvation? Melissa, you are not going to fall. I'm holding you up and sustaining you. Rest in my arms, child. I have overcome it all, and you are free. You are loved, and you are mine. My children, do not be fooled by the schemes of the wicked one. He cannot win. He cannot conquer what I have already purchased. No, children, he is a liar. He is not going to snatch anyone from my hands. I love you, my children. Armor up. Put on your belts of truth. The lies are about to get thick. Sing to me, children. Sing songs of deliverance. You are free. You have eyes to see and ears to hear. You cannot be overcome. Yours is a different kingdom. Yours is the inheritance. Yours is the inheritance. My children, I am coming. Stop wondering if I am coming. I am coming and I will do it. I will accomplish all that has been set before me to accomplish. I will not delay. This world does not hold you. I hold you. I love you, my children. Rest. And the scriptures I will put in the notes. Philippians 2.13 Micah 2.6 1 Peter 4.6 1 Corinthians 2, 13 through 14, Song of Solomon 2, 6, Malachi 4, 6, Luke 4, 6 through 8, Matthew 2, 6, 1 Timothy 2, 6 through 8, Joshua chapter 2, Revelations 4, 6. He's been doing that a lot, it seems like. He said I would notice patterns, and I always wonder if that's the pattern I'm supposed to notice. I apologize for the cat meowing through that whole video. I'm sure that was very distracting. I have a cat who sits outside the window and thinks that's the only entrance into the house. She just sits on the ledge until I let her in. And uh, there's a cat door downstairs, but she thinks that that's the only way to come in. So 
I don't know, maybe I should have redone the video, but it's getting late and um, anyway, so we'll just see how this all progresses and, you know, I'm just going to trust the Lord, you know, he's, he's good, he's holding it, he's got this and um, if it comes down to it, I will shut off the comments. If he tells me to do that, I'll do that. But, you know, I just think that, you know, the fellowship there is is beautiful. I love the body of Christ. And, um, you know, if there's, there's people that are unbelievers and or people that need prayer, you know, things like that. So there's, there's benefits from keeping them, the comments on. There's definitely cons to keeping them on, um, but there's, there's pros too, and I think they outweigh the cons. So for now, uh, we'll just see how it goes. So I love you all, and um, keep looking up, and I will hope to see you all face-to-face -face in a different place soon. All right, have a good evening.